Hi guys, how you doing everybody? My name is Ikenna, the usual suspect from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. Hope everybody's super good today. Welcome! And right behind me, I have 12 batteries, all 220 amps batteries, okay, by 12 volts. And I have them in three different units, okay, making three parallels, okay, in a 48 volt system. And you having this size of battery without a battery equalizer is suicide. You can't even do that. <laughs> it's even crazy thinking about doing that in the first place, okay? So there has to be a presence of a battery equalizer in your battery system. So you're asking yourself, why exactly do I need a battery equalizer? And you know, sometimes when they insist that a battery equalizer has to be there in your installation and you don't know why, it's important that you know. But if you really wanna know, how good and how exactly the battery equalizer prolongs your battery life you need to stick around because i will be right back welcome back everybody this is ikenna from smiling sun everything solar installation everything inverter installation everything going green if you haven't subscribed and you're watching me right now please click on that subscription button before you forget it's important because we can't wait to have you as part of this community all right so from today henceforth nobody and i mean nobody's ever going to tell you what's going on in and around the world of solar technology okay you're welcome and don't forget to comment don't forget to like and do not forget to share what exactly is a battery equalizer and what does it do to your system it's a battery management system all right uh, but unlike the lithium batteries, the tubular batteries, you have to provide a battery management system for the batteries to ensure that all the batteries are evenly charged. So when your charge controller and when your inverter is charging your batteries, the battery equalizer ensures that you have even distribution of current amongst all the batteries. Okay, it's important uh, because sometimes some of the batteries, because there's a lot of batteries here, so sometimes you could see some batteries that are really undercharged okay it's not getting as much current as the other ones while some other ones have been overcharged so they ensure that there's even distribution of current amongst all the batteries so if a particular battery is undercharged the battery equalizer will definitely de detect the one that has less voltage going to it all right or less current going to it and it will begin to distribute and give it more charges all right so it ensures that none is left behind none is undercharged and none is overcharged so that's essentially what it does and it also ensures that the batteries just as they all charge uniformly they also discharge uniformly so it ensures that the batteries discharge uniformly so and i would explain a situation you can relate to i am actually a dog lover okay so i have a lot of dogs so when the dog litters or when your beach litters a set of puppies okay so you have like a liter of puppies probably like 10 11 12 you know it can be as much as that okay so if you have like 12 puppies and you're feeding them at the same time they essentially have different feeding behaviors okay some eat very fast and some eat extremely very slow so you see them all growling and pushing each other away to be able to ensure that they get all the food so you need to be able to study and monitor the puppies to ensure that none is under feeding and the other one is overfeeding if it continues that way, you're going to have the very greedy ones eating so much and you have the other ones eating very little. So it will begin to tell in the appearance, they'll become very malnourished. They're not going to look well fed like the other ones that are eating very fat. So what you do in that situation is you separate okay, the puppies and begin to feed them you know, separately, individually, to ensure that everybody has its own portion of food. So if you're slow, it doesn't matter. If you're fast, it doesn't matter. Everybody gets to eat the same thing. And they will definitely all get the same amount of nutrition, the same amount of food. They will all look well fed at the end of the day. That's because you're monitoring them to ensure that everybody has the same equal amount of food. So that's what a battery equalizer does. It ensures that currents and voltage is evenly distributed amongst this large bank of batteries. So if you have this amount of batteries, so we have 12 batteries here. Uh, which is pretty much um, 220 amps by 12 volts. So we have it in three units. That's 48 volts parallel to uh, be able to maintain the same voltage and increase the current essentially. So, but if you have this amount of batteries in your fleet and you have 
the charging is going in from your charge controller and your inverter there's always a tendency that you're going to have one that is not being supplied with enough current and that's where the equalizer comes in the equalizer ensures that um every single one is supplied the amount of energy it needs so the batteries wouldn't sulfate because if the battery stays at this state and it doesn't charge as much and if that happens over a very long period the batteries will die off the batteries will begin to stratify that's the sulfuric acid divorcing from the distilled water and begin to settle at the base plates so let me show you guys what the battery equalizer looks like um let's start with um we'll essentially start with um a 48 volts all right so this is what the 48 volt looks like yep comes with um a manual that will teach you how to set it up and all of that so the one for four batteries will always have eight legs okay so each of the legs is for two of the terminals of the battery the negative and the positive so that's why it comes like this so if you look at it um it's um black and red so this is for one battery this is going to be connected to the other battery and this is going to be connected to the third battery and this is going to be connected to the four batteries. So all in all, if you count all the legs, including the black and the red. So if you guys want to get it, I'll put up a number on the screen. You guys can call Van Charles. He has very good equalizers, this type. So these are active energy transfer equalizers. They are pretty, very good. It's something I've used and I can attest that it's really very rugged and it does the job okay so this is here so this is 96 volts equalizer okay uh, this is meant to be connected to eight batteries so it will definitely most definitely come with 16 legs two legs for each of the battery terminals so you have this this is plugged in here okay and you plug the second one here so this is meant for eight batteries okay so if you count the legs it will be 16 legs two of the legs is going to two of the terminals of the battery so you always have negative positive negative positive so it has 16 legs for 16 terminals of your eight batteries so you know that eight batteries will definitely have 16 terminals that's a combination of both the negative and the positive terminals so this is what the 96 volt equalizer look like so i'll show you guys the biggest one i have here which is 192 volts it's pretty very good okay so this is what it looks like all right so it's very big so this is meant for 16 batteries connected all at once so that's it it's pretty very big okay so the legs are definitely going to be 32 so the terminal of the battery like i explained before are two terminals the negative and the positive so here are the cables okay so this is what you're going to use to connect to the battery so this is the biggest of the equalizer okay so the equalizers are connected to the battery terminals you have the battery equalizers in here okay so you have the battery equalizers all connected to the batteries each of the negative and positive of the terminal so each of these parallel units that we have here we're going to test the batteries so that you see for yourself that all the voltage will be the same that means the battery equalizer is really working to ensure that you have the same harmonized or synced voltage amongst all the batteries okay uh, the voltage is here now so that's the voltage for the first um unit of four of the that's the first parallel for the 12 batteries so we're getting a voltage of 54.2 at the moment all right so we are going to go proceed to the second unit of the battery that's the four batteries that makes up the second unit of the battery bank so let's test it now so this is the second battery um it's giving us the same thing which is 54.2 which means the equalizer is working all the voltage are all harmonized uniform all producing the same thing so let's go ahead and give you the third unit of the batteries as the third parallel of the battery to see if it's still the same thing so that's the third parallel unit here and what is the voltage giving us so the voltage is still giving us 54.2 so all of the batteries are all giving us the same thing for all the 
you need so we tested one two and the third parallel is the same thing it's still the same thing so that's why the battery equalizer is very important for you to have it in a large battery bank of this nature that's very much we have time for today guys thank you very much for stopping by now you know what the equalizer does you can thank me later <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed come on we are waiting anxiously to make you a part of this solar technology community all right so from today henceforth nobody and i mean nobody's ever going to tell you about what's going on in the world of solar technology all right so don't forget to comment don't forget to share and do not forget to like and of course the more you subscribe the more we can reach out to more people who also need to see this video and also have this information thank you so very much guys and see you in the next one